Hey everyone, I'm out here burning energy with the dogs. It is a warm and sunny 47 degree day here in South Dakota, which is somewhat rare, but super nice, especially since we've been having below zero temperatures for the last few weeks. So it's kind of a welcome warm up, if you will. So I wanted to bring the dogs out, let them run around, burn off some steam. Um, a, a little trick when you have two dogs and you're trying to play fetch is to have two balls. Our youngest one likes to steal the ball and he will lay on it and not give it back. Um, so I started giving him his own ball so that I can play fetch with Bentley, our older one, because the younger one doesn't always care to play fetch. He's sort of lazy, um, but he'll go retrieve it once or twice and then he just comes and lays down. And when he doesn't have his own ball, then he just steals the other one as soon as Benny brings it back and lays on it and makes it a game to go get it. So a trick, get two balls, hand one to each dog and then you'll be ready to go. Okay, ready? Okay, so while I'm out here playing with them, I thought there's a few things I would mention about things that I think that GSPs should not be given. There are three things. So the first thing that I definitely think you should not give a GSP is rawhide. Um, in the beginning I did because I didn't know any different and then uh, they constantly puked it up and it, then I did, did some reading about it and just realized how bad it is for their digestive sy system, how many dogs get it caught, have to have it surgically removed. It's just a terrible idea. Stop it. It's just a terrible idea. So I highly recommend never giving your dog rawhide. <laughs> Okay, next thing that I recommend never giving your GSP and that is cheap balls or tennis balls. I only recommend these chuck it balls that are rubber and extremely strong. Um, every other tennis ball or cheap ball that we've ever given these dogs has been torn apart within seconds and then it's in tiny little pieces that of course they're trying to eat. Getting into their digestive system is just a terrible idea. Spend the money, get the better balls. These are only like five bucks for a package of two. They're not even that much more expensive, but just stay out of the dollar aisle for the cheap dog toys. It's not worth it. Lastly, the last thing I think that you should never give your dogs are the cheap Kong look-alike toys. You can get them, you know what the Kong ones are, those super strong rubber, sometimes they're red, sometimes they're black, and there's cheap versions out there, knockoffs that, that, that are being made. Don't do it. I've made the mistake trying to save money because the Kong ones are more expensive, and all you end up with is, again, a destroyed toy that is in pieces, and they are eating the pieces, and it's a terrible idea. Again, getting caught in their digestive system, just overall, not a good idea.
So just to remind you, three things to avoid. One is rawhide. Two, avoid tennis balls or any cheap plastic balls. Three, the knockoff Kong toys. Just don't do it. So there is this toy that we recently got that I thought I would share with you. I actually really hate it for at home, but I brought it out here to see if they'd play with it. So let's see what happens. Get it! Come on, get it! It literally just glides across the ground and they chase it because they can't typically get it picked up and it's so funny to watch them. So I'll see if I can figure out what it's called and let you know. Okay, so this thing is called, hey, give it back. So this thing <laughs> is called the K9 Cruiser. You can see it, it's flat on the bottom. They're, they're gonna try to steal it from me. Okay, I better give it back to him. Okay, ready? Berkeley's gonna try to steal it and he's gonna run away and they're gonna... The chase ensues. 